and we have liftoff. Defying gravity, the Hendo hoverboard floats about an inch above the ground, powered by four disc-shaped engines. It can move speedily, if noisily, in multiple directions and turn around. The battery only lasts seven minutes, but that's still enough time to take a grown adult for an exhilarating ride. The partly 3D printed board levitates on top of conductive materials such as aluminium or this copper half pipe. The technology that propels it is called magnetic field architecture, developed by the startup company ArxPax. We are creating a magnetic field and then through a method of induction that's part of our secret sauce, we're creating a secondary and equal magnetic field in this conductive surface. Henderson, an architect, founded ArxPax with his wife Jill. For decades they've been trying to design more earthquake-resistant buildings and the hoverboard is a proof of concept. Imagine that there's an earthquake and the early warning system turns on the hover systems and the supports fall away as the building starts to hover. The shaking stops, the supports return, and no one in that room or that building ever knew there was an earthquake. The couple has turned to crowdfunding website Kickstarter to get financial support for their project. They long ago passed the target of $250,000 and the first 10 hoverboards, costing $10,000 apiece, have pre-sold out. But for far less money, amateur inventors can get their hands on a developer kit and theoretically use the technology to make anything hover. We want to see this hover ecosystem. By putting the technology into the hands of all those tinkerers, all those, those curious, curious minds, curious minds, the We're, power of many minds, that Greg likes to say. By putting this technology in their hands, we'll be able to solve problems we don't even know exist. Right now, the elevation may be modest, but the Hendo hoverboard is setting its sights high. Its creators envision future applications in manufacturing, transportation, and even space exploration.